Yo, what's good, YouTube man? It's Clutch. You're back out with another video, man. Today's video, I got you guys with this rare two-way three-level point four build in NBA 2K23. Now, this actually is a pretty rare and cool build right here today. I want to show you guys how to make it. Now, it is a point four, so it can only be made at small four position, nothing else. And this other stuff doesn't matter. That's personal preference. All right, moving on to the height with this build. Now, I did decide to go 6'9". You could also go like 6'10". I'm not sure about 6'11". I think 6'10", the tallest. If you want to go 6'8", for Hall of Fame Quake first step, you could. I went 6'9", because they do have the best badge tiers. And the weight, we're going 194 pounds, because we do have an 80 acceleration. And the wingspan. Now, this build, you could get like an 85 three-pointer, but like in my opinion, you had to sacrifice way too much for it to be worth it. So, I went all the way down to 7'6", wingspan. So, we're just going to have an 83 three-ball for Silver Agent 3s. In my opinion, that's really all you need to be able to shoot consistently in this game. Silver Limitless range is cool if you're going to be pulling from deep. If, if you're not going to be pulling from deep like that, then you don't really need Silver Limitless. All you really need is Silver Agent 3. So, I'm going to go 7'6", wingspan. But like I said, if you want to have an 85 three-pointer, you definitely could. I'm going seven foot six wingspan, and then this body shape doesn't matter. I'm just gonna pick Bill. All right, moving on to the attributes for this two way three level point four Bill man. Make sure you guys do copy it down just like this. So the close shot is going all the way up to a 76 for the extra badge point. Plus you do get silver fast twitch, silver fearless, silver masher. Driving layup is going all the way up to an 80. This doesn't lock another badge point as you guys see. Plus you do get the best layup packages in the game. Zach Levine and Joey layup packages. Driving dunk, we're pulling this all the way up to an 86 I believe. Yeah, an 86. So we're getting gold limos takeoff on this build. Silver posterizer and pro driving contact dunks, which is pretty nice. And then the standing dunk, I'm pretty sure I'm bumping this all the way up to a 68 just so we can get 17 finishing badges. That's pretty much all you need to get any badge you would ever want. In order to get this build name, your mid-range has to be at least an 80. So if your mid-range is anything below an 80, it's going to give you a completely different build name. So just keep that in mind. But if you go 81, as you guys see, you do get another badge point. Plus you do unlock Hall of Fame Mini Magician. I figure you might as well. If you're getting another badge point and another badge, you might as well just go 81. But 80 is the bare minimum. And then three point shot, like I said, I am going all the way up to an 83, which is not bad. You're still getting silver agent threes, which is the best shooting badge in the game. This and Limitless Range are the best shooting badges in the game. A3 is really all you need. Like I said, if you want to go 85 three pointer for silver Limitless Range, you can do that and you still will keep this build name. It's just like we had to sacrifice too much for it to be worth it, in my opinion. If you want to do it, you definitely could. And then the free throws going all the way up to a 70. All right, moving on to playmaking. Now, this build is not like other point forwards. Some other point forwards, you could just go 80 pass accuracy and it will give you the build name. But there's a build that's like very similar to this. Like if you were to go 80 pass accuracy, it would just call you a two-way three-level score because the builds are very similar. So the only way to like separate them is the very high pass accuracy. So this build, you do have to go 86 pass accuracy in order to get this build name. If you don't, it will call you a two-way three-level score. 86 is not bad though. You're getting the Lamella Ball pass style. All your playmaking bad is on Hall of Fame, Gold Bailout, and Gold Needle Threader. You could throw some steamers with 86 pass accuracy. That is really nice right there. And the ball handle maxes us out because we do want to get gold clamp breaker, gold quick first step, silver handles for days, gold unpluckable. And then speed ball, it only has to be a 75 for the Michael Jordan dribble style. You guys should know that by now. You don't need anything higher than that. All right, moving on to defense. This build is a two-way, so it is going to have some pretty good defense. Interior defense is going all the way up to a 67 for the extra badge point. Premier defense, let's see. I'm pretty sure, yeah. In order to get the two-way build name, you actually have to go up to an 87 perimeter defense which is pretty standard with any two-way build. So you're probably thinking, oh, if I go 86 perimeter defense, it's probably just gonna call me a three-level point forward. I thought the same thing, but it's actually crazy. If you go 86 perimeter defense, for some reason, it calls you a playmaking shot creator. It's such an odd name. Like, it's such like a different name from this. Like, it was just kind of caught me off guard. So yeah, if you want the two-way three-level point forward build name, perimeter defense has to be an 87. If you go 86, it will call you a playmaking shot creator, which is kind of odd, but just go 87 so you get this build name. And Steel is going all the way up to an 85. So we are getting silver glove and then silver interceptor and the block we're going all the way up to an 87 block so we are going to have silver anchor on this bill which is really nice you can stop centers in the paint no problem and that's why i put the interior defense up to a 67 as you guys see if you take this interior defense down at all it lowers the block so the minimum rating for interior is 67 and it's perfect because 67 tier doesn't lock another badge point plus you do get silver anchor with this build which is pretty nice and then moving on to the rebounding i put the defensive rebound all the way up to a 70 just so we can unlock bronze rebound chaser in case you do want to use that badge 
all right moving on to physicals the speed is going all the way up to an 80 pretty much all you need max out the acceleration to an 80 80 80 that's really all you need 80 speed is definitely more than enough and then the vertical we do have an 86 driving dunk so you do need a 75 vertical for those pro driving contact dunks and the rest of these attributes are going on stamina you are going to be having a 90 stamina pretty much all you need and as you guys can see this is the bill right here 17 finishing 22 shooting 23 playmaking and 19 defensive for this two-way three level point four build as you guys see pretty solid build really good defense really good playmaking high pass accuracy really good shooting 22 shooting badges and this build does have contact dunks which is pretty nice in my opinion all right moving on to takeovers with this build we do get shot creator sharpshooter playmaker and lockdown defender now honestly if you wanted to go shot creator you definitely could because you do have silver agent threes and you do have hall of fame mini magician if you're gonna be playing like that we're gonna be fading everything you could throw on like some pull of precision maybe ankle breaking shots if you want to break ankles i like sharp takes so i'm gonna throw on limitless range primary and then let's see I like my defense, so I think I'm going to go sharp and lock. Like I said, you do have an 86 pass accuracy, so you definitely could go on play take, like team takeover boost, or if you'd be fading everything, like I said, you could go on shot creator. It's completely up to you. I like my shooting and defense, but like I said, if you want to do something else, you definitely could. It's your build at the end of the day. And as you guys can see, man, this build is similar to Brandon Ingram, Scotty Pimpin, and Kawhi Leonard. Pretty good comparisons right there. And as you guys see, this build is called a two-way three-level point forward. Pretty rare build name right there, and a pretty cool build name. Now I'm going to show you guys my personal recommendations for the badges. Let's get this to 99 overall real quick. All right, moving on to finishing badges, 17 finishing badges. You definitely want to get Silver Fearless Finisher. I'm going to get Gold Limos Takeoff, and I'm going to get Bronze Slithery just so we can access the Tier 3s. Now, Posterizer is going to be the badge you want to core. It's going to be the easiest one to core. So, core Silver Posterizer. Then you definitely do want to get Fast Twitch. That's definitely a really good badge. You don't really need Rise Up, so that's what I'm going to recommend. And then one badge left get silver slithery finisher that's why we went 17 finishing badges as you guys see you get any badge you would ever want that's literally all you need you don't really need to add anything else to finishing all right moving on shooting 22 shooting badges which is absolutely insane you definitely want to get silver agent i'm gonna get gold green machine and i'm gonna get bronze amp just so we can access the tier threes now if you want to run catch and shoot you do get this badge on gold so you definitely could if you're gonna be playing like that if not i'd probably just core silver blinders and then other than that i don't really think you need anything else yeah, you don't really need Deadeye. Limitless range only goes to Bronze, so you definitely could sacrifice this badge as well. I think I'm going to go Gold... Actually, no. We get Hall of Fame Mini Magician with the 81 mid range, so I figure might as well just take advantage of that. And then, if you're going to be playing like this, you could throw on like, some Hall of Fame Space Creator. Actually, I mean, we have so many badges. I think I'm just going to get Catch and Shoot just because we have so many badges anyways. I figure might as well. Actually, let's see. Actually, I do need to get the Gold Amp first, so I think I'm going to do something like this, honestly actually here's what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna core gold catch and shoot and i'm gonna get silver blinders i think that's what i'm gonna do personally yeah that works out perfectly now we do have gold amp definitely need that hall of fame mini magician yeah if you don't want catch and shoot then maybe you could throw on some other badges like claymore space creator maybe some dead eye i think that's gonna be good for the majority of people like i said if you want to do something else you definitely could all right moving on to playmaking definitely want quick first step and i'm gonna get gold bailout just so we can access the tier threes now you definitely do want to core gold unpluckable i'm gonna get silver handles for days and then i'm gonna get gold clamp breaker that is literally perfect right there with 23 playmaking badges you get every single badge you would ever want if you want needle threader then you could maybe add some extra badges for it i don't really think you need it you already do have an 86 pass accuracy it's gonna be pretty hard to intercept your passes regardless because your passes are to be insanely quick so honestly if you want dimer or something like that you definitely could maybe even double core playmaking if you have the option or add extra playmaking badges if you want to if not that's pretty good right there i don't really think you need to in my opinion all right moving on defense 19 defensive badges you definitely want to get silver clamps gold chase down and i'm gonna get bronze workhorse just so we can access the tier threes now you definitely do want to core silver anchor you don't really need pogo stick or rebound chaser so we're gonna sacrifice those i'm gonna get gold challenger i'm gonna get hall of fame workhorse actually no, i'm gonna get this workhorse on gold and then i'm gonna get silver glove i think that's pretty good right there if it was up to me i would add one extra badge to get the hall of fame workhorse and i think you're pretty much set for defense unless you want some interceptor if you want interceptor at least bronze then you could add like four extra badges for the bronze interceptor and then hall of fame workhorse if not i think you're fine sacrificing it if you're fine sacrificing it then it's add one extra badge to get hall of fame workhorse and you'll be set for defense but that's pretty much the end of the video man that is the new rare two-way three level point four build in nba 2k 23 let me know what you guys think about this build in the comment section below man if you guys have any other rare builds you guys like me to make please let me know down in the comment section below and i'll shout you out right when the video starts i really do appreciate all the support recently man make sure you guys do drop a like subscribe if you're new and i'm out